Yeah, this is just an update to my Harbor Freight uh, belt disc sander. Uh, I've been using my vacuum's elbow remote to add vacuum to the sander because my hose won't fit which worked out well in the vertical position in the horizontal position obviously won't work because I can't get it up in there plus if I needed to use the disc sander I would have to take this off put on an adapter and plug it into the disc sander if I wanted to control the dust um, what I found is a little adapter I'll add a link to it it plugs into the sander the hose will plug into it you can then run a piece of tube on the outlet to the disc center, which is a little easier said than done. A um, couple of issues with it though is this wouldn't go all the way back and stood out about like right there. And the other issue was plugging in the vacuum. It would hit the port that stuck through. Um, so what I did was sliced off a little piece of the port. About a half inch on this side and about three sixteenths on the other side. A little bit of a bevel so will slide all the way in and the hose can slide all the way in. Um, the other part of it was folding it down. This, the capacitor on the motor, sat right here. So you couldn't leave this on. You had if you're changing positions between vertical and horizontal, you have to take this off and put it on from underneath, which is also a problem because you have to kind of start it and get it up in there while you're lowering this. And it was a pretty much of a pain before this got chopped off. Um, but now this can live there. And you see it clear is by just rotating this. Um, I'm going to move you here. This screw was here. And there was enough wire on the capacitor coming out of the motor. I added this piece of plastic to cover the wires. Um, but it was just a simple matter of rotating the capacitor back to allow the T to just sneak by. So that can stay there, I don't have to move that. Sit you back down here. On the hose, I used a three quarter by five eighths hose. Heated it up with a heating gun, well, and stretched, stretched it over the fittings. So now they just plug in. Um, normally I use it in the vertical position. So I plug the one end into the disc sander and this end into the T adapter. So let's see. Yeah. There's the hose. Which that works. This hose doesn't like to be folded very much. And so I can switch between the belt and the disc and not have to be moving air fittings and whatnot. 
full vacuum. Um, I haven't done it yet because I don't use it that much horizontally. And this hose isn't going to bend, but when this is folded down, that little elbow in the back is pointing straight down. <clears throat> Let's see, are we still in frame? So, and that hose just isn't going to make the bend. So, I'm going to make another piece a little bit shorter, come out of here, use an insert elbow to go over, and another insert elbow to go up. Um, and that'll work. So, if I happen to be, which that is re even rarer, switching back and forth between horizontal and vertical, I'll have to switch this hose, but that's kind of minor because I don't usually do that. I found some dishwasher hose that has some rubber fittings on it that work perfectly for fitting on here and it's real flexible. Unfortunately, when I put vacuum to it, it whistled so loud, you wouldn't believe. It's uh, corrugated like a uh, wiring loom. And the air rushing by those little ribs, it just whistled. I mean, you put your ears out. Uh, I played, tried playing with it, adjusting the air. And the only way I could make the whistle, whistle go away was to turn the air down so far it stopped vacuuming. And I've seen another guy do it on YouTube, and his didn't whistle. So I don't know if his hose happened to be smooth inside or it's something to look into because this, this vinyl stuff just doesn't want to bend. I heated this up. Yeah, just not the best choice, but right now there's not much option. I should probably mention this comes with a whole on both sides and it also had a web with about a one inch hole inside to restrict the airflow because in stock form if you apply too much vacuum it'll just suck the belt right into the cover and, which is what I did this is what this is about I completely ground through the cover and the port fell off so now I can run full vacuum. I added these spacers to pull the cover out of way. Um, cut this web out. And it had these little white plugs. I'm not sure what these are. They were in the junk drawer. They're just little plugs. I don't know. Anyway. So I can run full vacuum. And now that this can go all the way up, I moved the capacitor. This can just live here, whether I use vacuum or not. So I put a screw in it, just to make sure it doesn't fall off or get lost. <clears throat> it's just plugging in the hose, I don't want to use it. Vacuuming, I don't have to be doing anything. Just stick there and go. The only thing I'm going to do is, since I'm not using my remote, and I thought about it before, but I had no reason to, is add a receptacle to the switch box and plug my vacuum into it. So when I turn the machine on and off, it also turns the vacuum on and off, which would be kind of slick just around to it. Pretty easy to do. Anyway, this little fitting, the person that's making these has a uh, 3D printer. Uh, I forget what I paid. 13 15 dollars, something like that. It's pretty cool. I, I wish there was an easy way to do the hose, but you know, if you 
use it in one position all the time, like horizontally, then it's easy to come up with something. It's just not easy to come up with something that allows this to swing and leave the hose connected. But that's kind of minor. Um, pretty cool.